Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex, and today we are surviving our first ever snowstorm. Our intro to winter van life has been pretty smooth sailing so far, but that was all about to change. Minus 18, how will we survive? In this video, we experience some of the highs and lows of winter van life. Our tolerance is put to the test. Sometimes you need a f***ing break from van life. With intense snow. It's like an actual blizzard. And finding out the true impact sub-zero temperatures can have when living in a van. <gasps> I think it's frozen shut. Some ice literally just came out of the tap. Oh my god, we're actually snowed in. We pick up where we left off in the previous video. Getting ready to leave the ski resort that had been our home for the last few nights. When your heater breaks and there's ice on the inside of your van, you know it's cold. You know it's too cold. <laughs> too cold for a couple of beans, that's for sure. Once the ice had finally melted, we set off, saying goodbye to the ski resort and made our way to a different region of Austria to experience the panoramic views of the Dachstein Glacier. It is possible to drive, but we opted to take a short bus ride directly to the cable car. Thank God we didn't do that in the van and we got the bus because those hairpin bends were pretty hairy. <laughs> Covered in snow and ice, I would have been absolutely pooping myself. Right now, we are about to get a gondola all the way up there. Be warned, the gondola ride isn't for the faint-hearted. Rising around a thousand meters in six minutes and built entirely of glass to enjoy the views. It's like a 360 panoramic thing going on here in every direction. I don't think I've ever seen a view like this where it's literally just mountains, 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 mountains. Like we are smack bang in the top, in the center, surrounded by a sea of mountains. And we're like the highest of the mountains. I know. It's so good. If you have any fear of heights, this is not the place to come. It's terrifying, actually, looking over the edge. I was just filming a story for Instagram. And I was just clinging onto the phone with everything I had and just, just peeking over the edge with it. The main attraction here is Austria's highest suspension bridge, offering breathtaking views of Austria's highest peaks and a terrifying 400 meter drop to the rocks below. Not the biggest fan of heights, so I'll see how I get on but I feel like you can't not go on it, so I'm gonna do it. How you doing? Fine. Yeah? Yeah. It's just hard when you look down. <laughs> yeah, it's much easier when you're filming it. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, when you look up. <laughs> it's like not real when you look at it through the lens. Yeah. Do you think that if they put enough of these on that it will change the weight of the bridge and it will be dangerous? Maybe. Because they're all on one side. It will be lopsided. That actually happened at my university's library. When they built it, the architect didn't account for the weight of the books. And so every year it sinks further and further. No. So you never know. I know we say this basically every video, but I just love what we can do from the van and this little vessel that we just get to be anywhere and do anything. And today happens to be on the top of a mountain walking on a bit of a rickety bridge. Oh, I don't like that. Look at that wobbly movement there. We made it. So this is called the stairway to nothingness. But I would almost argue it should be the stairway to everything because you can see everything behind, all of the mountains as far as the eye can see. Not only do they have a stairway to nothingness, but apparently they have a snow tunnel to nothingness. We keep seeing people walking over here and just disappearing into this little tunnel of snow. How Alice in Wonderland is this? Okay, Alan, this looks awesome. Look who's here! Oh. oh wow, the, the ground is actually ice. So be really careful. This unassuming snow tunnel led to the Dashstein Ice Palace. The Ice Queen! <laughs> As I live and breathe! <laughs> Carved entirely out of ice, 
documenting a trip through time marked by the various ice sculptures throughout. Oh, wow! This is for all our American friends. Oh. We love you guys. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at the ceiling. Oh, you ceiling. Impressively, it is located under six meters of ice and after exploring the series of tunnels and eventually popping back out into the real world again, we grabbed a bite to eat before getting the cable car back. Look how close we are to the mountain. Like, it's like you could reach out and touch it. It's worth noting that the cable car has an open air section where you can enjoy the fresh mountain air on your way up or back down. Once at the bottom, we got the bus back to our tiny home where we had a surprise waiting for us. I think our key holes have shut frozen shut. What about I can't this one? Even fully get in there. That one I can push in, but I can't turn it. <laughs> What's going on? What about the front one? Okay, the front one works. Oh, okay, we're fine then. We've got one door that works. Oh my god. My driver's door's broken, it's locked shut now. I, I, yesterday, I couldn't get it on. I wonder whether it's a cable that's frozen and then snapped. So this is like, this is going round. Kind of like oh my god! It's going round. It's, going round. it's an epidemic! It's an epidemic affecting old vans. Yeah. That's um, the reality of winter van walking. life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is uh -huh. it. Old vans in the winter, they struggle with things like this. No. That's why everyone's not doing this. I was like, why is no one doing this? <laughs> oh. oh, look at all these icicles. That's this mad. One, I think this one's literally snapped and fallen off and it's gone <laughs> doink. <laughs> like a little bow and arrow. Oh no. We forgot to leave the diesel heater running. Yeah, we definitely should have done. Because look, if I try to open this. No, it's shut. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Frozen to the windscreen. <laughs> it didn't take too long for the van to defrost before we made our way to our park up for the night. At the end of each day, when we come back to our cozy little van, it's time for us to back up all of our footage, which is what Al's doing right now. And that leads very nicely onto today's sponsor, Wondershare Recover It. Wondershare Recover It helps to restore lost data of files, photos, videos, you name it, from SD cards, hard drives, laptops, whatever disaster has unfolded and whatever device you have. So I've put this to the test and I've formatted my SD card and if you don't know what that means, it's like deleting everything but worse <laughs> and final. There is no coming back from formatting an SD card. I put it through this software and when I deleted it, there were 75 files. It's returned 508 <laughs> files, including everything that I'd lost, so it is there back in perfect quality. But not just that, they've got stuff from three SD cards ago when we were in Scotland. I can't believe this. It's when, blowing his little mind. I'm so confused. When I delete stuff and when I format stuff, I think it's gone forever. Yeah. And for better or for worse. <laughs> Don't just take my word for it. Check the link in the description below. They have it for PC and for Mac, and if you want to try it out for free, you can recover up to 100 megabytes. The next day, we hit the road again and made our way to a 7,000-year-old salt mine. So they've given us this really thin thing that won't fit over our nice warm jackets <laughs> and sent us out into the cold. <laughs> That's what's happening so And far. now we've got to go do an eight-hour shift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After taking a quick train ride into the depths of the mountain, we learned about the surprisingly fascinating and extensive history of salt mining in this area. We are actually about to cross the border between Austria and Germany. I'm not sure if this is allowed, but we're doing it under the ground through the salt mines. Yeah, no COVID test over here. No, that's one loophole. <laughs> <laughs> After crossing over to Bavaria, we continued deeper into the mine. <laughs> Surprised by the beauty and usefulness of this everyday commodity, and by just how quickly an hour-long tour about salt flew past. Back over to Austria. That was a lovely little detour, wasn't it? Mm. International travel. They let us back into the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it, but that was actually extremely good. <laughs> and I wouldn't be telling you guys to go to a salt mine if I didn't think you should go to a salt mine. That is true. 
Having done skiing in the previous week, we wanted to try out another popular winter activity with all this snow on the ground. So we slowly started to make our way. This is unbelievable, isn't it? Like, I, if you're going to be in somewhere that's so cold, you may as well be surrounded by beautiful white snow. This is the reason we got snow tires. Yeah. But it's so nice to feel comfortable driving through this. So we get to look at it in wonder instead of terror. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think all of our childhood dreams are finally coming true. I feel like every Christmas movie you ever see, there's a child with a sled going down a hill covered in snow and you always want to do it, but you never do because we don't live in countries like that. Today is the day <laughs> we're actually going to do it. And look, we've reversed right next to where you rent them. Perfect for a couple of lazy beans. At a place, I know you guys would appreciate this, it's called Ski Willy. <laughs> As none of us had ever been on a sled before, we had no idea what to expect. We're at the top, well, halfway up the slope. We can't be bothered to walk any further. And we are gonna give the sled its first, we're gonna break it in. We don't know how to stop. We don't know how to turn. <laughs> so far, the idea of it is more fun than the reality of just walking aimlessly <laughs> up the slope. It's really Hello. nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> we hope we make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can watch oh. someone do it. Let's see how it works. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh. Oh. I feel if she's willing to plummet with her baby <laughs> down the hill, we, we've got nothing to complain about. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're being we'll be fine. Yeah. Also, I'd like to say plummet is a strong word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're YouTubers, we've got to amp it up, amp up the drama. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, lean left, lean left, lean right. Unsurprisingly, there was a lot of walking involved, which wasn't easy in the snow, but it was well worth the effort when we made it to the top. Storm coming in, the lights dropping pretty quickly. Everyone's and left. Everyone's left. Guys, this has turned into like a proper snowstorm out here. This is the most snow I've ever driven in. It's nuts. We've gone from seeing no snow at all to now this. And like because it's so like misty and sort of cloudy, and then the snow. I mean, it's just a terrible combination, to be honest. <laughs> I think there's rumours as well that in the next couple of days, it's supposed to get down to minus 18. Minus 18, how I, will we survive? I don't think I've ever experienced that level of cold before. <laughs> as we drove on in search of a park up, the snow came on thick and fast. This is nuts. I'm actually driving on the snow at this point. I'm so glad we got winter tires. <laughs> <laughs> You can see why it's a legal requirement here. Yeah, definitely. We do have snow chains. I guess that's more for like if it's like thick snow rather than just like surface kind of bits of snow. There's people putting snow chains on outside. That's how is serious that, is getting. Is it happening? Yeah. Are we going to have to whack out the snow chains and actually make use of them? Luckily we're staying here for a couple of nights, so you never know. Bloody hell, this is serious. I have to batten down the hatches. Yeah, ready. We're gonna wake up and there's gonna be like 10 feet of snow outside. <laughs> we can't open the door. We won't be able to leave the van. <laughs> Look how cozy it looks in here, guys. I know, oh, I love it in here. Whenever it is cold and we're all kind of snuggled up and I guess because of all the wood and everything, it just feels really cozy and warm. Emma is a good cuddler as well. I'm uh, sure you could imagine. I love a good cuddle. This 
This is madness. This is mental. This is magic. Some ice literally just came out of the tap. <laughs> I think it's broken through it though. <laughs> wow, that doesn't bode well. We've just had a lovely evening in Jits. A little pizza night, movie night. Come back to the van. The heating's been on this whole time. It's freezing in here. It's obviously escaping through all the windows. Oh, God. We haven't had this before. It's so cold. We left the roof down specifically as well because it always is so much warmer in here with the roof down. Obviously, because it's like a tent when the roof's up. Um, oh my goodness, I can't believe how cold it is in here. We just whacked up the heating to like full blast in the hope it'll make some difference. I, this might be harder than we first thought. <laughs> Let's go see outside. And then I can have a coffee. <laughs> yes, I'm making you do this. He's making me look outside. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Oh. 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 That's not cold. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, we're actually snowed in. <gasps> oh my god. I was not expecting this. The snow comes up to the van. You guys know me and I will do anything for a good thumbnail. And I've sensed one. <laughs> I can't get out of the van this way because there's going to be footprints when I try to take the picture. So and I've got a, to look all perfect. I want it to look perfect. <laughs> and us looking completely snowed in. So I'm going to have to climb over and go the other way around. And I know the other way around is way more snowy. Oh, oh yeah, there's going to be way more snow because that's where the snow was yesterday. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know how feasible this is going to be. Oh god, this van is small can... sometimes. Hopefully you can open the door. Wow, that is... that's thick. Oh man, look at that view, guys. Wow. I'm actually kind of scared. Oh, too bad. There's icicles everywhere. Look at the bottom of Jits. This is magical. Wow. lovely the sun is just peeking through the clouds and so you actually have these patches of clear blue sky imagine if the whole sky goes blue and we have all of this powdery snow around us I like snow for about 10 minutes <laughs> and then once you start walking through it it turns into slushy <laughs> it's a different story like it's lovely to walk on but look at this that isn't so nice I know we have a lot of Canadians watching and people from probably more extreme climates than this. I would love to know, is this just like child's play <laughs> to you? The answer is yes, Alex. It is just child's <laughs> play. You know they're going to say it is. You've seen the photos online where they open yeah. their front door and there's like a wall of snow in front of them. Yeah, we probably do look like we're making a big deal of this, but this, to us, is a lot of snow. Look how powdery this is. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. This is the part where Emma gets annoyed at me because I'm, I'm bringing mucky feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I now just have to stand on the naughty mat. <laughs> <sighs> oh man, it is so cold out there. I was wearing gloves. I know people will comment about that. Bloody hell. That good weather lasted for like three minutes. That is mental. It's like an actual blizzard, or what I would imagine a blizzard <laughs> to be. I'm sure there's people who've actually been in real blizzards who are like, um, that's nothing, but it feels like a blizzard. So 
So those guys have frozen pipes, which means washing up can't be done in JIT. So we're taking our washing up bowl and a few bits for breakfast and coffee and we're gonna save them in their hour of need. Aren't we good? Aren't we good beans? <laughs> Hello! Back. Sometimes you need a f***ing break from van life. <laughs> oh! Yeah, you can use that in the intro so it can look like there's loads of drama happening. We're being saved! Yes! Whoa! <laughs> Look at these icicles! That is crazy! Wow! <laughs> the weather eventually cleared, and after two and a half weeks spent together, it was our final evening with Tanya and Adam. <gasps> Hey, that's so cool, look at that. It's us on a condo. Yeah. That is brilliant, look at that. The next day, we were greeted with clear skies as we enjoyed our last morning coffee together. This is probably one of my favorite views ever. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite spot. But not just in Austria, but in general. This is why we were always saying about van life. It's yeah. like, you get millionaire's view yeah. on a budget. Yeah. I love it. Unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye to Tanya and Adam. And they are also going to be making a video about our time in Austria together. So make sure to go and subscribe and hit the notification bell so yeah. you're aware when the video goes live. <laughs> it's been so good learning from you guys about full-time van life. Thank yeah. you for showing us the road. I don't really know how much we've taught you. It's just nice having support of like so. traveling together as a group. You can like go out into the middle of nowhere and it's fine. Agreed. Like, if something goes wrong, we've got support. Leave in the comments, who would you like to see us collab with in the future? Who would be better than these guys? <laughs> no Come one. On. Hang on. <laughs> Easy. Just jits again, just say jits, comment jits again. <laughs> and also let us know, do you love snow? Do you hate snow? Are you one of those people that's like, oh, I don't like it, it's wet and it's cold and it's horrible and sludgy. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe to the video and follow us on Instagram, not those guys, just us. <laughs> and nothing left to say, but thanks for watching. We won't see them next time and... Peace out! <laughs>